Christian theology has always said that Jesus was born to die. The manger is in the shadow of the cross. The wise men bring a gift of myrrh, a symbol of mourning, that death was something he came to do. It's true, we all know that life leads to death. Death is something none of us escape. And yet Christian theology also says that death can also lead to life, that Jesus died but lives still, and, and that some things must die in order for life to happen. This Sunday, we are celebrating Pentecost, also known as the birthday of the church. It's a time when we remember that birth, the birth of the church. But it makes me wonder what might have had to die in order for that birth to occur. It makes me wonder if there were some people who resisted whatever those things were that had to die, resisted that death. The movement of the Holy Spirit made life happen. But I wonder how many people resisted. We're looking at that story through the lens of the story of Lazarus, a miracle story. Jesus raised Lazarus after he had been dead and buried in the tomb for four days. That makes his story a little unique. Four days is a long time. I think a lot about what might have happened during those four days. I wonder if it was long enough for Lazarus to kind of get used to being dead. That can happen, you know. I wonder if he had a choice when Jesus said, come out, Lazarus, if he decided intentionally to leave death. I wonder if that was a hard decision. It's a lot to think about as we think about the birthday of the church. It's easy for us to think it was a good birth, but it still came out of death. We're thinking about all of this, but most of all, we're thinking about the wild movement of the Holy Spirit that can do just that, that is bring life out of death. I hope you will come ready to listen, to think, to consider, ready to wear red, a symbol of Pentecost, and celebrate the fact that death comes to all of us, but life also comes from death. We'll see you then.